Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Um, they told me, you know, to make this toast to South Africa. I was told two things. Uh, make it good news. <laughs> Thanks for the easy job. And um, they told me to keep it short and sweet, uh, something that's never been applied to me, especially by the female sex. So uh, I uh, had to really think about what I had to say tonight. And uh, we're in the midst of this COVID pandemic we have uh, state capture all around us. We have a country that's seemingly going down the toilet. And it's, uh, our friends are emigrating and we worry. And then I read this article this week uh, about the school, 110 years old. And the founder of the school was fortuitously named Hope. So I thought I've got to make a speech, so let's work on the hope aspect. And uh, you know what? There is a hope aspect to this country. I have a sister that's uh, the chief whip of the DA in Parliament. Some of you know her. She's got a lot of hope, and she fights for this country. I've got a friend that uh, was with us in matric in our class. He's dying of leukemia right now, Shalmarie. And he phoned me a month ago to commiserate with me and to to wish me his condolences because my own father died of leukemia and uh, that's this type of school and this school will uh, live with you for the rest of your life and you know there was a very interesting statistic the other day someone showed me a fortune 500 article and uh, they listed the top 400 ceos in america and a very interesting statistic was that of the top 400 CEOs in America, 100 are from South Africa. Did you know that? So 100 of the top 400 CEOs in America are from this country. But an even more interesting statistic is that 22 of them are from Pretoria Boys High. So effectively, we come from a school that created 5% of the top 400 CEOs in the world's biggest economy. And uh, that's got to tell you something. I look at our metric class. Everybody I know in our metric class has excelled. You've got Janusz, snotty-nosed kid who arrived here, came from Polish immigrant parents, they had nothing. Today, he's the reference in the field of patent law. Anyone's got a question, they come to him. Anyone wants to know anything about anything to do with patent law? He's the encyclopedia. Anyone wants to know about Italian food? They come to me. <laughs> We've got uh, people in our class that were so successful. And, and uh, I, I look around and it, it makes me excited to see that there is still hope in this country. And uh, we have to hold on to that hope. I thought, you know, coming to the dinner, I look around the room and I thought, ish, COVID. And then I realized half of your old farts are over 60, so you've probably had a jab. <laughs> so uh, I felt a bit better. Um, and then uh, lastly, I wanted to say that uh, we come from a school that uh, at this very moment has generated the man that's leading the future of this planet. You know, he's, he's a tech entrepreneur. He's the world's wealthiest man. And despite what everyone may say, he came from the school. And uh, in so many fields, this country leads the world. In so many fields. Um, I've been privy at the moment. My, my girlfriend works for Nissan. They've just created a new Nissan Navara. It's engineered in South Africa. It makes every other bucky in the world look like a dinosaur. It's stronger. It's faster. It's got every toy that you can imagine inside the bucky. It's engineered 100% in this country. And it's engineered to be stronger, better, faster, and last longer than any bucky that's ever been made. And it's going to be sold in the whole world. It's made here. So there's still hope in this country. And uh, we've got to hold on to that. That's why we're here. And I'm investing heavily in this country. I've been opening businesses regularly. And that shows my hope in this country. And I have hope also in this school. And uh, this school is like a little island. It's like an island of hope. Because this school creates people that are unique and special. I look at my own future son-in-law. He's a graduate of this school. He's one of the top actors in this country. He's a young man. He's well-spoken. 
coincidentally, he's also black. If you hear him speak behind your back, he's a boy's our boy. He's got the accent. He's got the sound. We walk into a room filled with people. In five minutes, I can tell you who came from Boys High. It's just a feel. People always come to me and they say, you know, those Boys High boys, phenomenal. Stand up, greet me. They always, uh, anyone knows, the Boys High boy is the best mannered boy in the room. Yes, we might have blown Digby's shoes off, but you know what? <laughs> we learned manners. We learned manners. We learned how to be a gentleman. We learned how to open a door for a lady. We learned old school things that count. We don't wear man buns. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> fuck you, boy. I can. Okay, but. I want to tell you that uh, we live in a very special country. We've been part of a very special school. And the last thing I'm going to say, because I promise to keep it short and sweet, is I was at a conference a couple of years ago, which was actually held in my restaurant. And uh, all the headmasters of all the private schools around the world came to uh, my restaurant, and they were hosted by the then headmaster. And uh, they had this meeting. And the headmaster of rugby school in England stood up, and he says, what an honor it is to be hosted by the headmaster of the finest school in the world. And that's us. So let's be proud of that. Let's be proud of this country. Gentlemen, stand up. I'm proud to know you. Proud to be a South African. Here's to South Africa. Cheers. And uh, Donovan, sorry about the F-bombs, but the guys who know me know me. <laughs>